You click this video because you crave the cutting edge. You're a professional, an enthusiast, a filmmaker, a warrior in the visual trenches. And you know that in the world of flagship cameras, a leak isn't just news, it's a seismic event. For months, the camera world has been holding its breath. The original Nikon Z9 didn't just compete, it rewrote the rulebook. It proved that Nikon was back, and it was playing for keeps. Now, the whispers have turned into shouts. The leaks are pouring in. And what they suggest about the Nikon Z9 II is nothing short of a total paradigm shift. Forget incremental upgrades. Forget minor tweaks. We're not talking about a Z9S here. We're talking about a machine designed to leapfrog the competition and secure the crown for years to come. This isn't just a camera, it's a statement. And for the next 30 minutes, we're going to tear into every single credible leak, every insider rumor, and every shred of evidence to reveal the beast lurking in Nikon's labs. Stay with me, because what's coming will fundamentally change your gear buying plans. The viewfinder revelation. Let's start where a photographer's soul lives, the viewfinder. The EVF on the original Z9 was excellent, but let's be honest, it was a holdover. Good, but not revolutionary. The Z9 II, according to multiple consistent insider reports, is getting a massive generational leap. We're talking about a rumored 9 million dot OLED EVF. Think about that number. The industry standard has been hovering around 5.76 million dots. We're talking about a 50% jump in resolution. Imagine looking through that viewfinder. It won't look like a screen. It will look like real life. A true, uncompromised optical viewfinder experience, but with all the modern benefits, exposure preview, focus peaking, and instant playback. But the resolution is only half the story. The refresh rate. Rumors suggest the Z9 II might be capable of a blistering 240Hz refresh rate in certain modes. If that's true, ghosting and blackout are dead. It means tracking a fast-moving object, a fighter jet, a sprinter, a bird of prey, will be an absolutely seamless, fluid experience. It will be the closest any electronic viewfinder has ever come to an actual window to the world. This isn't just an upgrade. It's the removal of one of the last remaining technical disadvantages of mirrorless technology. It's a game changer that makes the Z9 II instantly indispensable for action photographers. The speed demon inside. The Z9 speed was insane, but this is Nikon. They don't rest. The heart of any modern flagship is its processor. The leaks are heavily pointing to a next-generation dual processor setup, possibly dubbed XP8 or something even more exotic, paired with dedicated AI silicon. Why two processors? For pure, unadulterated speed. The chatter suggests that the Z9 II will push raw burst speeds in a territory that was unthinkable just a few years ago. We are hearing whispers of sustained raw capture well north of 30 frames per second with full, continuous autofocus and auto exposure. This isn't just JPEG speed. This is full fat, uncompressed image data tearing onto your card. And speaking of cards, the Z9 II will almost certainly lean even harder into the absolute fastest CFexpress Type B cards, maximizing that throughput. The buffer? Effectively limitless. But the real magic comes from the rumored AI-powered autofocus. The Z9's AF was a beast, but the Z9 II is expected to leverage deep learning capabilities far beyond what we have now. This means better predictive tracking, more granular subject detection, not just person or animal, but I position relative to head tilt and ball trajectory. This isn't just focus, it's predictive intelligence. It's a system that doesn't just react to what you're shooting, it anticipates it. This means fewer missed shots, more perfect moments, and a competitive edge that simply can't be ignored. Video, the 8K frontier and beyond. The original Z9 put a shot across the bow of the cinema industry with its 8K capabilities. The Z9 II is preparing to launch a full-scale invasion. The core sensor may remain similar in resolution, around 45 to 50 megapixels, but the readout speed and thermal management are where the miracles are happening. The most explosive, tantalizing rumor circulating right now is the possibility of 8K at high frame rates, with some leaks even mentioning 8K slash 120p, though we should treat that last one with a healthy dose of skepticism. However, if even 8K slash 60p with full sensor readout and a vastly improved bitrate is confirmed, it fundamentally redefines what a hybrid camera can do. But the real, credible win for filmmakers is the expected improvements in internal raw recording formats. 
Following Nikon's recent partnership and development, the integration of cinema-grade codecs will be seamless. Think higher bit depths, more robust compression options like enhanced NRAW, and better thermal dissipation that makes those long 8K takes actually possible without the camera melting down. The Z9 was prone to heating under extreme load. The Z9 II is rumored to feature an all-new, highly efficient heat management system, perhaps a subtle internal fan or a radical body redesign utilizing exotic heat sinks. To solve that problem, transforming it into a true cinema workhorse. This is a camera that demands to be taken seriously by Hollywood, not just by YouTube creators. It's an A-cam in a stills body package. The hardware, an ergonomics deep dive. A flagship camera has to feel like an extension of your body. The leaks suggest Nikon knows this better than anyone. The Z9 II is expected to maintain the robust, integrated grip of the original, but with subtle, crucial refinements. We are hearing about a more comfortable, sculpted grip, perhaps with deeper texturing for better handling in extreme conditions. Crucially, let's talk about the screen. While the Z9's 4-axis tilting screen was functional, there's a strong push for a full VARI angle screen that can face forward for vlogging and self-shooting. This would be a concession to the modern hybrid workflow, and multiple sources suggest Nikon is finally ready to make that leap, possibly with a hybrid tilt slash flip mechanism that satisfies both stills and video pros. The smaller, quality of life updates are equally important. Improved button illumination, better, more uniform lighting for all controls, making night shooting truly effortless. Dual base ISO, an expansion of the low light performance, giving cinematographers more latitude in dark scenes. Battery life, an incrementally larger or more efficient battery, pushing the SEPA rating even higher, cementing its status as a camera that simply does not quit. Every single point of friction in the Z9 seems to have been noted and engineered out in the Z9 II. This is about total professional reliability. The biggest rumor, global shutter? Now we must talk about the one rumor that, if true, would break the internet, global shutter technology. For those who don't know, a global shutter means the entire sensor is red simultaneously, eliminating all rolling shutter distortion, which is the wobble you see in video and the skewed lines and fast-moving stills. The Z9 II having a global shutter is a rumor that keeps resurfacing, but comes with a major caveat, cost and engineering complexity. A global shutter would immediately make the Z9 II superior to nearly every other professional camera on the market in terms of clean, distortion-free images. Is it likely? It's a 50-50 bet. A simpler, more credible possibility is an even faster stacked sensor readout, so fast that rolling shutter is effectively non-existent in all but the most extreme, specific situations. This would be the smart, incremental leap. But the fact that the possibility of a full, global shutter is on the table tells you everything you need to know about the ambition behind the Z9 II. If it does come with a global shutter, expect the price to be eye-watering. But the performance? Unbeatable. The timeline, the price, and the competition. So, when can you finally get your hands on this Titan? The most consistent whispers point toward a late 2025 announcement, or a very early 2026 release, strategically positioned to allow professional users to adopt the gear before the next major global sporting event. Nikon wants this camera in the hands of every major sports photographer covering the world. The price? The Z9 launched just under $6,000. Given the sheer scale of the rumored technological advancements, the 9M, .EVF, the dual processors, the thermal solutions, the video integration, expect the Z9 II to land at a premium. A price point potentially hovering around $7,000 is not out of the question. You are paying for the pinnacle of professional imaging technology. But here is the critical point. The Nikon Z9 II is not just competing with the current field. It's designed to compete with the next generation of Canon and Sony flagships. This is a move to dictate the terms of the war. The Z9 II is positioning itself as the camera that offers the best viewfinder experience, the most reliable AI-driven autofocus, unrivaled raw burst speed, cinema-grade video performance in a mirrorless body. It's an all-in strategy. Conclusion. We've dissected the leaks. We've looked at the evidence. And what we've uncovered is a camera that isn't just an upgrade. It's an evolution. The Nikon Z9 II is shaping up to be a total powerhouse, a machine built without compromise, designed for the photographer and filmmaker who refuses to settle for anything less than perfection.
whether it's the jaw-dropping EVF, the predictive AI autofocus, or the thermal-managed 8K, the Z9 II is demanding your attention. It's a camera that promises to elevate your work, turning near misses into masterpieces and challenging the limits of what a mirrorless body can achieve. The wait is almost over. The leaks have set the stage. Are you ready for the beast? Let me know in the comments. Which single leak feature of the Nikon Z9 II are you most excited for? And what do you think the real price will be? Like this video, subscribe for the most in-depth breakdowns, and hit that notification bell. Because as soon as an official spec sheet drops, you will hear it here first. Thank you for watching. The future of photography is just around the corner. Don't blink.